Welcome, friends. This is Maggie clennon Reberg from Classical WFMT. And we are here at the Village Church of Northbrook to give you a preview of this year's North Shore Chamber Music Festival, which begins for in-person, yay, and streaming performances this evening at 7.30 p.m. We will be talking with some of the artists and organizers of the festival, but first, let's hear some music. This is the Tocatina a la Turk, for violin and viola by Atar Arad, performed by Lisa Shihoten, violin, and the composer Atar Arad on viola. That was the Tocatina a la Turk for Violin and Viola by Atar Arad, performed by Lisa Shihoten, violin, and the composer Atar Arad on viola. I'm here with my new best friends. <laughs> Violist and composer Atar Arad is a faculty member at the Jacobs School of Music at Indiana University, Bloomington. His summer activities include teaching at Cachette Ailan in Israel, Domain Forget de Charlevoix in Canada, the Haifas Institute, and the Staines Music Institute, where he has served as faculty since 1991. 
Violinist Lisa Shihoten enjoys an active career as chamber musician, recitalist, and teacher. She's performed at numerous summer festivals, including the Caramore Music Festival, the Ravinia Festival, the Aspen Music Festival, and Norfolk Chamber Music Festival. Atar, I want to ask you about a phrase I have heard referring to you, late bloomer composer. What does that mean? And when did this particular piece bloom? When I was uh, 11 or 12, I wrote uh, something and uh, sent it to a competition. And the answer that I got is just my music back. Oh. No words, <laughs> you know, we regret or yeah. nothing. And it was, you know, a huge uh, kind of insult for a boy How like this, 11, 12. You know, and the people who won were 20 something, but I thought I can do it, you know. Sure. And uh, it, for me, it shows how important is what you say and not say to children, to young people. Yes. I co totally stop writing. And who knows, maybe one day if I was there, you know, receiving a nice word. A little bit of encouragement. Maybe there will be a, a concert, mostly a rad with a little Beethoven piece in it, you know, but. Uh, I believe this to be true, yeah. yes. <laughs> anyway, anyway uh, then uh, the only thing I was writing all the time, uh, cadenzas to, my, to mm. the concerti that I was playing and enjoyed it. And then when I was about 50, uh, close to 50, uh, I had to drive my daughter to school early and go to my, my school, but the first lesson always a, a little late. So I would take my viola and improvise and stuff like this. But before I knew it, I wrote a viola sonata, solo sonata. And uh, then I played it and it was, you know, people liked it. I recorded it, and then other people played, and I never stopped then writing. I still don't consider myself comp a composer uh, because I don't make my living out of composing. I'm a violist, but there is nothing I like more than to play my own pieces. Mm. Now, Lisa and Atar, both of you think about this. Um, have there, be, have there been anything that surprises you, whether it be an experience or just how you feel now that we have returned to live performance? Well, I'll come, I'll come over. We haven't had our first live performance uh -huh. yet, but the preparation, the joy, the fun of seeing all our friends, oh, how nice. colleagues. Yeah. It uh, makes me want to cry. It's amazing. Now, speaking of loving your colleagues, talk a little bit about how you two are friends through your music well, making. That's kind of a uh, nice story. Okay. okay. We were here, in both of us, in the first uh, North Shore Festival. Ten years ago. Ten, actually, now, by now it's 11, I think, okay. because we don't... Oh, we kind of skipped one, Yeah, we, we don't count the corona thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, so we played together. And then Lisa taught me how to play Scrabble online. Hmm. And uh, <laughs> she likes it, I like it. And for the last 11 years, Lisa and I play Scrabble online almost every day. One of the reasons, you know, why this piece was chosen for us to play here is because of the story of the Scrabble to celebrate not only our playing <laughs> together, but our playing Scrabble. Next, we open the playing field to what feels like an enormous number of musicians. A septet, in fact, composed of Vadim Glusman, violin, Atar Arad, viola, Mark Kossower, cello, Kurt Muroki, double bass, Ilya Sterenberg, clarinet, Catherine Chen, bassoon, and Eric Reed, French horn. Here is the fourth movement, Theme and Variations from Beethoven's Septet in E-flat major, Opus 20.
That was the fourth movement theme and variations from Beethoven's Septet in E-flat major, Opus 20. The musicians behind me, Vadim Glusman, violin, Atar Arad, viola, Mark Kosower, cello, Kurt Muroki, double bass, Ilya Sterenberg, clarinet, Catherine Chen, bassoon, and Eric Reed, French horn. I would now like to introduce violinist and artistic director of the North Shore Chamber Music Festival, Vadim Gluzman. U.S. festival appearances include uh, Ravinia this summer, Tanglewood, and on August 20th and 21st at this summer's Grant Park Music Festival, as well as obviously the North Shore Chamber Music Festival in Chicago, founded by Mr. Glusman and pianist Angelo Yofe, his wife and recital partner. Congratulations on 10 years of music making. It's a wonderful thing truly for us on the North Shore to have world-class music in our own backyard. How did you come to found the festival? Well, it was um, kind of a coincidence but a very lucky one. Mm. We went grocery shopping and we stopped at the light right here. And Angela said, look at this church, it looks beautiful. Why don't we go in? Fast forward nine months, we had the first season. Now, it's not altogether uncommon to be both a performer and an artistic director in the same ensemble. What are you looking forward to during the summer of music making in each of your roles here? Well, I, I really don't separate my roles. I'm just a musician, mm. uh, be it uh, as a violinist or my role as an artistic director, uh, not to undermine it, but it really is uh, coming down to choosing the repertoire and dreaming up uh, all-star cast. Thanks very much to the musicians behind me, Vadim Glusman, violin, Atar Arad, viola, Mark Kosower, cello, Kurt Muroki, double bass, Ilya Sterenberg, clarinet, Catherine Chen, bassoon, Eric Reed, French horn. And thank you for tuning in today. Make your plans right now to celebrate the festival's 10th anniversary, June 9th, 11th and 12th. Whether you attend in person or from home, discover what makes the North Shore Chamber Music Festival an inspired summer event not to be missed. You'll hear masterworks like this one by Beethoven and Brahms, a rapturous sextet by Dochnani, and rarely heard gems by Moskowski, Saint-Saëns, and others. And in celebration of the 10th anniversary, all performances are free of charge. For more information, you can visit their website. It is nscmf.org. I'd like to thank Angela Yofe, the staff of the Village Church and the North Shore Chamber Music Festival for making this broadcast possible. Our audio engineer has been Eric Arunas. Our video producer is Keegan Morris, and I am Maggie Clennon-Reberg and I will see you at the festival.